I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton and the doc is in. There's always a conversation about the affordability of our prescription medications. But what if those medications just aren't available? We have seen growing numbers of medication shortages across the country, not just in hospitals, but in pharmacies alike. In fact, a 30% increase between 2021 and 2022. Some of these are rare medications, but others are very common ones. In fact, one of the most common ones right now is medications or eye drops used for eye infections in children. Now this can be very inconvenient, having to change to less studied or less efficacious medications, but it can also be dangerous with that potential of going without a medication or changing or gaps within the treatment itself. Now the most important thing is working with your physician or healthcare provider to make sure you have the best medicine and that you take it as prescribed. If you get to the point that you don't get the medicine or you can't get the medicine, contact them right away as you do not want to stop that course of medications. Now hopefully steps will be taken to increase the supply and decrease these gaps in medications, but unfortunately over the last number of years, the problem has gotten worse, not better. You can join the conversation on our Doc is in Facebook page and at Everyday Med on Twitter. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton and the Doc is out.